This is your man, Tebow. Welcome back to, uh, I guess you can call it my monthly, if not uh, semi-monthly. I'm in comic hall. I mean, basically, it's whenever I get a giant pile of comics. Um, and if I can get this in, sh- in frame, I guess this would uh, constitute a giant pile of comics that I've gotten from um, auctions eBay sales, my comic shop, a little bit everywhere. So uh, let's get right to it, boys and girls. All right. So trying to go through this pile and figure out what's what. Man, I got... It's just overwhelming sometimes, man. So uh, let's get right to it, man, boys and girls. This is the rarest of the rare. There was only 50 of these made. What do you ask this is? This is Comic Shop Adventures, drawn and written by my buddy, the big to-do from Comics, Tunes, and Toys. A little wraparound cover action there. Basically, uh, has a very hilarious look at the everyday goings-on of a comic shop. It's Comics, Tunes, and Toys in Tusa, California. This beautiful baby is near mint, and whenever con season comes around or a CGC witness rolls into his store... Like my buddy Rocket Comics. I'm going to get Mike to sign this so it's a beautiful yellow label. 9.8. Uh, this is Comic Shop Adventures number one. He also did something called Cosmic Gal. G-A-L. So look for that. I actually saw a couple of copies for sale on eBay, believe it or not. What's interesting about this book is uh, Mike got this in a buy. So he, he basically bought a collection and one of his own comics was in there. So pretty awesome, man. The rarest of the rare. Only 50 of them ever made. Um, let's go. This is some recent stuff that I got. This, man, this is a pain in the ass for me. And it wasn't Roman Curtis's fault, but Roman had mailed these out to me via priority, uh, U.S. priority. Bro, it went out on June 24th and I just got it this week. So good, uh, man, like two, three weeks. Um, you know me, I've been, uh, getting these Agents of Atlas books like crazy, you know what? I'll put them side by side here. Look at that. Dual action. Set my lighting up correctly so you can see these bad boys. So uh, you can tell this is Ages of Atlas number one. Age of Atlas number one. This is the variant from the... This is, of course, from uh, War of the Realms. This is number two connecting variant. A regular number two. This is number three. Number four. This is the other connecting variant for it. So it was issues two and four. And here's number five. So maybe these two are connecting. But either way, issues one through five of War of the Realms, man. Stoked to get those. Uh, Angels of, number one has really been picking up heat recently. Uh, these are a couple of eBay buys. As I told you this year, and I've told it different couple of different places, I've been really specking on times characters first meet in the MCU. Now that, you know, the MCU encompasses so much. Um, this is Marvel Team Up Annual number four. This is the first impeding meeting of Moon Knight and Daredevil because one of our friends, Mikey Sutton Scoops, was that uh, Moon Knight and Daredevil were going to meet up in a Disney Plus show. So there you go. Uh, next up is Uncanny X-Men 160. This is the first appearance of adult Ilyana Rasputin. If you don't know, I forgot on which issue. <clears throat> she appears as a child, and then she goes off into limbo, where obviously limbo, it only she appears for just a minute, but then she comes back as a young adult, an old teenager, 
but this is Uncanny X-Men 160. I got this as part of this because I really wanted this issue. This, of course, is uh, first appearance of the Ilyana Rasputin as Magic in New Mutants number 14. Beautiful, high-grade copy. Uh, this eBay seller had both of those on um, part of their sale. All right, let's go off some other stuff I got here. This has been appearing on the top 10 a lot on the cover price top 10. People are snatching this up. I got another copy of uh, Alpha Flight number one, the first appearance of Puck and some other characters. Beautiful cover and story by the John Byrne himself. I picked up another one of these because I just love the cover and a chance I could see it. I got it in my big shop, the big to do for $4. This course is the famous uh, New Avengers number 14. They obviously the multiple arms of Doctor Strange that were popular and made popular in Endgame. There was a new a Doctor Strange annual that came later that also has this, but this is the first time I think you saw it on um, cover there. Uh, and if you also been paying attention, these books have been hot for some reason. I don't know. I got this for three bucks from my LCS. Uh, this is Ultimate Spider-Man number 11, the handcuff issue. This, of course, is Spider-Man number one. This is the, uh, I guess you can call it the kissing cover, but it's also, I believe, the first appearance of Miles Morales and, Gwen, and Spider-Gwen. Correct me if I'm wrong. But uh, as we scooped on our show, Mikey Sun told us that Marvel wants to make Spider-Gwen and Miles Morales live action thing happen. And that will be his love interest just in the comics. So that's why you've been seeing these on the pier on the top 10 list uh, ad nauseum, actually. Uh, for those who don't know, I'm a huge, huge fan of Witchblade and Michael Turner. One of the first things to ever get me back into collecting in the 90s well i say collecting i meant hardcore speculating uh, back then boys and girls we didn't have ebay uh in the mid 90s i used to drive around comic shops in the bay area and ask and call and say do you guys have witchblade number one or witchblade number 10 but this specifically is more witchblade number 10 this is the first appearance of jackie es estado i believe that's how you say it basically the darkness this is a gorgeous michael turner cover and then there's the variant which is an even i can't believe i can say this even better cover than Michael Turner's is Mark Silvestri's cover. And this is the Darkness Zero, which is a variant of Witchblade 10, which is the feature also first appearance of the Darkness. If you're a Witchblade fan, you got to have this, man. Gorgeous, gorgeous uh, Witchblade cover. This is Wizard number 63, the Ace, Ace edition of Witchblade. Gorgeous. Look at the front. Oh, man. Absolutely gorgeous, man. I wish I never sold my complete run of, um, of whatever that's called. What did I say? <laughs> uh, Witchblade. All right. Picked up another. I have a current copy of my Paper Girls number one. is off at CGC Gun Graded right now, but my LCS had another one, so I grabbed another copy. I uh, got hot recently when the screenwriter uh, posted a picture of the script on Twitter. Pick these up. Um, this is the Free Comic Book Day Firepower, the new Kung Fu series from Robert Kirkman. So I got two copies. But more importantly, is I also got this, which not many people seem to be showing off. This is the Firepower uh, Trade, which is a prelude. So technically, it's the first appearance. You can tell it's pretty thick there. Gorgeous color. So this is the trade of firepower. So it's this and the free comic book day issue. So uh, this one Dell's obviously is a more of a prequel. So it tells more of the story. And then this of course is the first appearance in the free comic book day that who knows when that's going to happen. If it's ever going to happen. I also picked up these random issues just because they're cool, man. This is ghost rider. I got this from my comics, tunes and toys as well. Ghost Rider number one, the Clayton Klein series, or at least he did the art. Obviously, the variant for this is going for big, big dollars. I do believe this is just the regular cover, but it's still badass. Also got some filler issues on Master of Kung Fu, the Max series. It's number six. Number five. I really need to stand. This stand is horrible. Number two. I think this completes my run. This is more of an adult uh, title for the Marvel stuff. Let me switch over to this one, man. That one sucks. I need new stands. Uh, 
Also, while I was at Comics, Tunes, and Toys, I picked up this for four dollars each. Uh, this is the first appearance of Firestar in the regular six one six continuity. That's a May and Kenny X Men one ninety three. Three copies. One of them is super clean that I plan on uh, pressing and slabbing. Um, it is absolutely that clean. The rest of them, eh? Yeah, I don't know. These are fun. I finally got this, and I've been I posted this on Instagram. Um, I've been meaning to show it for a while. My man, Dark Side Jedi, I had these a long time ago, and I ever since I seen him, I had to have them. This is Robin War 1 and 2. Um, you can tell they're connecting covers. And I reason I got them, uh, they're Lee Berm Bermejo 1 in 25 variants. But I absolutely love the graffiti font, being that I used to do graffiti writing back when I was a ute. But I love this. I don't know about the story or anything, but this is one of those things where I just love the font for it. It's badass. So, and they're 1 in 25 variants. So there you go. Robin War 1 and 2. Also, some Spider-Man books. You should probably be prepared, huh? spider theme books, I should say. I got another copy of Spider-Woman number one. I know it's not the first issue, but it's or the first appearance, but it's still a very cool first issue, and this is in near mint condition. Spider-Woman number one. And... I got, uh, we spec this on actually the Lord's channel that the uh, ultimate green goblin was going to be used as a villain for, um, ultimate Spider-Man may be surprising to some, maybe not surprising to many, but what's interesting is the amount of appearances in it. I think that number four is the first appearance in a cameo. Number five, he fully appears, but they don't really say his name. So, and then number six, you also see him full appearance and you see him on the cover. So I got two copies of six. These four or three issues I got from the big to-do. And then I bought this one off eBay. And it came along with issue number 50 of Ultimate Spider-Man. Which happens to be the first appearance of Ultimate uh, Black Cat. So there you go. Those are cool. Right? Right? Also, uh, my buddy the big to-do through is in for me. I do believe this is the 1 in 25 variant for Strange Academy number 2. I have the 1 in 25 for Strange Academy No 1 and the Peach Mocha variant. And this one he's doing because I'm a Doctor Strange fan. Stan Lee meets Doctor Strange. If you don't remember back then, they had a bunch of these. I don't know. Uh, Doctor, I have one that says Doctor Strange meets Silver Surfer. Or I have one that says Doctor Strange meets The Thing. This one happens to be one of my favorite characters. So, And plus it's a dope-ass cover too. Look at that. All right, we're almost there, boys and girls. Let me show some slabs. And as I was saying kind of been specking this so went out and got a slab copy of it as well this is uh dr Str or excuse me this is ultimate spider-man number six first appearance first cameo of ultimate green goblin i don't know man what's whatever the dump market will dictate but he does appear in these because i bought the raw issues and i looked inside of them so and this is the old label too which i always love collecting the old labels because you know you never know you can press them out and get something better and newer or faster quicker or whatever uh, one other slab. Sorry, this comic haul has been underwhelming, but, you know, they all can't be grails. <laughs> but this is Mew Mutants number 14, the first appearance of Ilyana Rasputin as Magic and the 75-cent Canadian variant. Believe it or not, Canadian variants of certain issues are really hard to find in high grade. I don't know what you Canadians do with your books, but you guys tear them up. Just kidding, man. I've got nothing but love for our brothers in the great north. But this is the more rare or rarer. New means number 14, 75 cent variant. And it says it right there. Canadian price variant. First appearance of Ilyana Rasputin as magic. I think that's it, man. I mean, uh, what else do you want? That was a lot of video. That was like 15 minutes worth of uh, music and videos and me just jibber jabbering along. So hope you guys enjoy the rest of your Sunday. I hope this video posts on Sunday and we will see you guys on Tuesday for the cover price top 10. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure if you're new to the channel, subscribe, like, 
Hit the like button and hit the notification bell. We go live Tuesdays at 6 p.m. for the cover price, top 10. And uh, Thursdays, I do a viewer mailbag. So until next time, boys and girls, keep digging in them long boxes. Peace out.